Hello my creatives and welcome to another video. So today I'm here to share an art journal page with you and I will just tell you what I'm doing right now. So first of all this is an art journal page that I made in my how to break a blank page art journal video and uh, so this background was already there. I think I used some dilutions and then added some excess gesso over it or white paint. Um, someday and now i'm just using this background to start my art journaling so i am using some uh, circle shapes and this uh, this time i'm using uh, my double-sided tape roll but i thought that was too big so now i just took a washer roll and i um, made the circle with that with some pencil so what i wanted to do today is i wanted to paint some flowers and uh, i made this art journal page uh, in between exams and i really needed some relaxing time and i wanted to art journal something that is going on in my life and i thought fl florals were a very good fit for that but first i will tell you what i'm actually doing so i'm drawing out my flower shapes and now I'm just taking some gesso to fill in all the centers of the flowers and all the petals to create a base for my painting. So that's what I'm going to do for all these leaves and or flowers. <laughs> and some of them, I went over them twice because the dilutions comes through the gesso. But I also really liked that, that they came through the, the color came through the gesso. So now I'm just taking some acrylic paints. I chose three colors. I usually do that. So I chose a light purple, a dark purple and a white. And with that, I can create a big gradient of uh, purple or colors. And, and now I'm just going to lay down my base layer for each petals. And um, the trick with painting with acrylic paints or wood watercolors or anything else is that you have to layer up your painting. So uh, I always start with a base color and that is this beautiful purple color. And I will paint all my flowers or my petals and then I will start working with them by putting paint on top. And uh, I will share the whole process with you on how I'm painting these flowers. If you want to know what I used, uh, there's always a list of supplies in the description box linked down below. Um, in the description box listed down below and uh, if I can find it online there are also links but just know that some of them are affiliate links. So uh, for this art journal page I really needed some time to relax and um, I wanted to document my feelings. So my feelings about this is that I feel like I am at the start of a new phase in my life, which is of course true because I'm almost getting my degree. Uh, but uh, also I am 28 and I'm quite late uh, with studying uh, because of my mental health issues and the life that I lived before. So I feel like I am a late bloomer, so to say. And um, People do have opinions about that. Uh, people have opinions about me being 28 and just finishing my degree. Um, why don't I just go working? You know, like, why don't I just do the thing a regular adult should be doing uh, on my age? But that's just how life goes. And I really wanted to document that even though that I am a late bloomer, it doesn't make me any less beautiful. And that's also the message that I want to share with you today is that you know, life gives you things and uh, it, life gives you challenges and, and sometimes struggles. But it doesn't really matter if you don't fit the, you know, the, the, the box we should be in, so to say. I don't really like it. But um, don't get discouraged by it. Just keep going. Keep on fighting and uh, do your own thing. I mean, it's my life and... Um, what is it to someone else that I just got my will get my degree? I mean, it doesn't affect their lives, right? So why do you have a p an opinion about me being late or me not having children yet? Or, you know, uh, I mean, it's my life. It's not yours. So uh, that is really something that I wanted to document here that um, I wanted to boost my confidence a little bit with this and say to myself it doesn't make me any less beautiful that I am late with things or as they say that I am late because for me it's the perfect timing 
and uh, for me this is the perfect moment to do these things so uh, that's what I really want to document and um, you see me painting my flowers I'm layering up and my paints so I switch between the dark purple the lighter purple and the white and uh, I just keep on working them until I'm happy so I do keep in mind where my highlight should be or where my shadow should be so of course in the center of the flower there is the dark purple and on the edges of the flower petals is the white to create a highlight uh, but I'm just working it and if you do this more often you will get better at this and uh, just look at some photos for, of flowers uh, to see how the colors are and how the light is going on the flowers if you struggle with something like this. But I really encourage you to try it out because it was just so relaxing to put some paint on my page and just go for it. So I'm, I'm just going to uh, paint these flowers and... Um, yeah, that was my message to you today. Uh, I think that is all I have to say about this video. I, later on, I will add my quote. Um, and um, yeah, I really hope that you enjoy this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, I would love it if you would give me a thumbs up. I would also love it if you would consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the process. Bye. Thank you.